The state government has reassured homeowners it won't cut solar rebate tariffs despite a massive uptake of panels. Queensland has thousands more solar installations than expected, with warnings that could make electricity even more expensive. We've hit the target. Will it hit back? The government wanted to generate 500 megawatts of solar power within five years. It's taken just 18 months. So do we need a carbon tax? It complements exactly what the federal government is doing. But it's costly. 140,000 Queensland homes generate power for the grid. It's claimed the subsidies they get could force general power prices up by 6%. Never mind, the industry says solar homes will stay ahead. You're actually powering your own house with that system. So the more electricity goes up, the more cost efficient these systems will be. Queenslanders currently receive 44 cents a kilowatt hour for any excess solar power they send to the grid, while New South Wales residents just lost 20 cents of their rebate. We're told it won't happen here. We've guaranteed our feed-in tariff for those who have signed up to our scheme to 2027. Of course, governments change. For the time being, though, it seems that consumers will just have to accept whatever tariff they get back. The cost of storing your own power in batteries to run your own home is generally still prohibitively expensive. In any event, the solar providers argue the current non-battery systems can be paid off in three years. We're talking about a 30-30% return on, on a system. The industry's future success may depend on Queenslanders continuing to buy the argument. Mark Sulo, 10 News.